how to partition of SSD in Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer without formatting. So here just do a right click in the start icon and then click on run. Once you click on run a small window will appear like this and here you need to type disk mgmt dot msc. Once you have typed it click on ok. And you will find the disk management window on your screen. You can also search here in the search icon disk space management and you will find this window. Now I'll maximize it and here we need to look few things. Um, currently I have only one SSD installed and I can see the healthy partition is there, C is there, unallocated space is there and then healthy recovery partition is there. So if you found if you find any unallocated space, you can simply do the right click and you can create a new drive. All right. If you do not, I mean, I can see 4.8 GB is unallocated. So I can create a new drive, a new partition or with this unallocated space. Else, what you can do is you can simply select your drive, the C drive, and you can see the capacity of the C drive is 232.1 GB and out of that we have 74 GB free up free space. So I can create a drive below 70 GB or 74 GB uh, than that. So I'll just do a right click and I will click on shrink volume. All right. And if you have any unallocated space, what you can do is you can extend volume. So whatever the unallocated space is there, that will be added to the C drive. All right. So I'm going to, you know, add this unallocated space. Now you can see I have 237 here. So you learned uh, how to, you know, uh, add those unallocated space to the C drive. Now we are going to do the partition and I'll just do a right click and I'll click on shrink volume. And it will start querying how much space is available. It's turned, it's in MB. So let's say if I want to create a partition of 10 GB, I'll mention 1 GB equals to 1000 MB, 1024 MB. So I'll mention somewhere around 10,000. So here I have mentioned 10,000 and I'll click on shrink. And you can see 9.77 GB, a round off amount, 9.77 GB unallocated space is there. I just need to do the right click on that unallocated space. And here we need to give a name, new simple volume. And we need to click on next. And I'll click on next again without mentioning anything. Don't make any changes. If you want to assign a different letter, you can do that. I won't make any change. I'll just click on next. And the file system you can change it to NTFS and then we just need to click on next check mark on perform a quick format else it will take a lot of time and it will start creating a new partition on your computer or your Windows computer so now I'll go to this PC and now we have this D drive so we have successfully created a new partition on Windows 11 computer the process is same for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, and Windows 11. All right. So whatever the process I steps I share, I make sure that it works on all version of Windows. And guys, if you like this tutorial, please hit the like and subscribe. And please do let me know in the comment section if you have successfully created the partition on your Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.